let's go to the uh, to the uh, starting lineups. Uh, I'm going to go down one through nine. Obviously, batting first and playing right field will be Ichiro. Batting second and playing shortstop will be Derek. <laughs> <laughs> batting third and catching will be Joe. Batting fourth and playing first base will be Mark. <laughs> batting fifth and playing left field will be Jason. Uh, batting sixth and playing center field will be Josh. <laughs> batting seventh and playing third base will be Evan. Batting eighth and playing second base will be Aaron. And batting ninth, possibly, we'll see how it all works out, <laughs> uh, our starting pitcher, Doc. It's very difficult to actually pick that one guy. Um, there's so many qualified pitchers among the group, but um, based on the body of work also, I think Doc over the last several years has demonstrated uh, to be possibly uh, maybe the best pitcher in the American League. And um, once again, this year I get to see him way too often. Um, he's still at the very uh, pinnacle of his pitching abilities. So it's not an easy decision to make. And, and of course, uh, Greinke definitely was considered, um, but just based on... Um, this season and a body of work, I thought that he deserved uh, the nod. If it's an American League game, you pretty much can choreograph the game before it ever begins and have a pretty good understanding of who you can get in. Being that it's <clears throat> excuse me, a National League game, it's going to present a, a bunch of different problems as the game is in progress. You go from theory and then reality kind of hits you in the face. So from <clears throat> my perspective, again, um, of course I want to get as many guys in the game as possible. However, um, as a game, if it's tight and it's late, you're going to have to keep some contingency plans back, not only um, uh, pitching-wise but position player-wise, because you don't want pitchers to have to hit later in the game. So I've been thinking about that a lot. It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a balancing act. Listen, it's going to be my first time doing it too, so you know, I'm not going to say that uh, I'm the sharpest stick in the pile either. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, you know, play it along properly uh, with the help, obviously, of our crack coaching staff and, and see if we could do this thing uh, in the, in the right way, but you're going to have to you have to prepare for contingencies also, which may preclude you from using everybody in the, in the game by placing more weight on this game. Obviously, we're just talking about the strategical part of it. It definitely uh, takes on a different shade because of all of that. So I'm all for it. I think it's, it makes this uh, this moment a lot more interesting. I'll tell you that, and uh, uh, a little bit tighter. I'll tell you that too because you're really you're playing.